<clears throat> Hello, my name is Katarzyna Kwiatkowska. I'm a Polish MP from the New Left Party. I run a parliamentary group for migration and integration policy, and I've been asked to say a couple of words about uh, the Center for Foreigners' Invention, the Temporary Guarded Center for Foreigners, as it is called. Uh, Wenzhen is close to the Polish-German border in the Lubuskie forests and it is part of an army complex. Uh, the artillery range is close by and so a couple of uh, army barracks have been passed over to the Polish border guards to run what is in fact a detention centre for migrants and uh, refugees, uh, mainly for those who have been intensely crossing the Polish-Belarusian border intensely since uh, August. And the detention centre was set up, in this particular detention centre, was set up in early September. Uh, the conditions in the centre are worse than in those of a Polish prison. The main two problems are crampedness and um, lengthy, seemingly endless procedures. There are, at the moment, there are about 600 men being kept there. Um, the centre is potentially to house 900 men. Uh, the, they are kept in several post-army barracks in rooms where there is about two square meters per person. Uh, there is uh, what adds to the feeling of crampedness uh, uh, is um, a lack of uh, space to, 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 to go out and uh, and walk. Uh, the centre is organised as, as if it were a prison. It is surrounded by uh, uh, a barbed wire and there are uh, guards everywhere. There is a lack of um, interpreters and people who know the languages, the different languages, uh, the men who get there speak. Uh, as I said, there are lengthy, seemingly endless procedures because uh, applications for international protection in Poland should be processed in three months. But very often in the case of Venzhen, the men who have said on the border, having often been pushed back a dozen times, back to Belarusia, and who have finally managed to to stay on the Polish side and have declared that they want uh, international protection in Poland. Uh, from the moment they declare that to the moment their application is in fact processed in the way it should be, uh, there are often weeks or months uh, in between. And the border guards say that one of the reasons is a lack of uh, interpreters who know particular East, Middle East languages like Farsi. But also there is a lack of uh, border guard staff. And uh, the, the main reason for, for uh, the conditions and the situation of, of, of these foreigners being really atrocious is um, not the, the conditions themselves, I mean, the, the, the fact that the men are where they are, but because they could be in better conditions, but there is a lack of goodwill on the part of uh, the Home Secretary, the Home Office, who is in charge, who over, presides over the border guards and who in fact, uh, makes the crucial decisions. The, the border guards themselves, uh, the local border guards who run the centre, uh, would be open, in my opinion, um, to to better the conditions of, of the foreigners. But they are restricted by the po by the official government policy, uh, which uh, 
and that policy is using the the migration problem the, the, the what, what Lukashenko has been doing on the Polish Belarusian border um, attracting uh, f refugees migrants from the Middle East and Africa to to come there to come to Belarus and then cross over promising them an easy crossover to to the European Union mm. Uh, the Polish government has been using this problem um, uh, to show, to, to boast to the Polish uh, citizens of their, uh, yeah, of their uh, protection of the Polish border from the attack of these uh, of these foreigners, which is of course um, stupid. And uh, but 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 but, uh, but that that is the official government line. Also to draw away attention from the real problems Poland is facing, the Polish economy and Polish society in the wake of uh, the COVID uh, epidemic, and 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 the, in the wake of all the economic and financial problems. Uh, that uh, that it has caused. I visited Venzhen two weeks ago, and we discussed uh, uh, a week later. We discussed uh, the situation in Venzhen uh, at a meeting of the parliamentary group. Uh, I mentioned um, uh, the Polish ombudsman has been running a. Um, detailed control uh, of the center, and they are going to his office is going to present a detailed report, very critical, um, in a couple of weeks' time. Also, the national, um, the supreme control uh, uh, authority in Poland has been running its own control, which is also very critical of the of the conditions in, in Venice.